Well, leaving the gate, he broke smartly, and then the difference, I think, from him in the previous starts where I've ridden him, he's really, really gotten very professional. Going down the backside, I didn't know if I had horse or not because he's just cantering along under a dangling rein. Um, I picked the spot around the apex of the turn and thought with his turn of foot, I could beat the horse that was in front of me on the outside to the pocket. And sure enough, I picked up the lines, kissed at him, tapped him on the shoulder, and he had me there in two strides. I hit that pocket, and away we win. He can really run. I enjoyed a lead change at the head of the lane, and he found another gear. Uh, it was at that moment I said, it's going to take something pretty extraordinary to catch me from here because he was putting it together. Uh, striding for the wire with a lot of energy um, and I was happy with that. Uh, I looked over my shoulder, there was nothing coming. Um, I became a fan like you guys watching the jumbo trying to approach the wire. Now this is the first time you've ridden this horse on the turf. The previous three starts I believe were all on the dirt. How different is this horse on the turf than on the dirt? Well, you know, the way that I ride him on the dirt is usually off the pace just the same and he's just so much more comfortable because he's not getting pelted with the sand. Um, you know, I, I truly think that that's what makes the difference from turf to dirt. Horses that are void of speed on the dirt, most of them will get just so aggravated by the time it's time to run, they, 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 they don't perform for you. Where on the grass, there's no kickback, they're happy back there. So when you encourage them to go, they go at their best stride. The first thing I want to do is thank Colonial Downs for putting on this great race. We were here four years ago, and I knew I wanted to bring Patio Prado back because of the great treatment everyone gets here. And the second thing I want to say is, if you want to big, win big races, hire Dale Romans to pick horses and train for you, and putting Kent DeSormo on their back is not a bad decision either. Now, you, I saw you actually circling Patio Prado after the race. You like to get involved with your horses. Well, he's, he's a special one. I've probably spent more time with him than just about any horse we've had in the last uh, 30 plus years and and he's he's a ham as uh, your folks have been reporting uh, I had a little trouble getting him stopped in the winter circle we need a little professional assistance at that <laughs> talk about just the going through the triple crown well he was I thought he represented himself well in the triple crown we were like everybody else weren't sure if he was going to take to the dirt but he did well I think he now he's classic place grade one placed on poly classic placed on dirt and he's a grade two grade three winner on turf I think he's very versatile and he's the perfect type of horse with that being said, what are some of the future plans you might have for this horse? You think you're going to keep him on the turf, or where do you go next? There's a lot of money this summer on, for three-year-olds on the grass, and of course we probably will back here in four weeks for the Virginia Derby, and then try to point to the grade one secretariat.